Hello and welcome to this week's Out Systems Developer Advocacy Team video. Today we're going to talk about how to work with the slider widget and how to apply its value to other fields. Uh, before I begin, I want to give a special thank you to Daryl Monroe who uh, suggested this topic on Twitter. As always, we ask you to suggest uh, topics, give feedback on the videos, so this is very appreciated, so thank you very much, Daryl. Uh, so first of all, let me show you the behavior we have in this video. So I'm going to open my page and as you can see here, I'm piggybacking on the Combo Box project, which we presented a few weeks ago. I'm going to put the link to the Combo Box videos on this video description. So if you want to check it out, uh, you can understand what's going on on the page. So basically what we have here is a list of products. And as I select a pro product, I have the product name, its price, and I can apply a discount to, to this product that goes from 0% to 100%. So this, uh, this product costs $34. If I go all the way to 50, uh, I got a 50% discount. I got $17. If I switch again, I got now 75%, $850, and so on and so forth. So let's see how we're doing that back on Service Studio. So first of all, uh, the slider component, slider widget, have a non-change event. So what I've created was a screen action called a range slider on change that is triggered whenever I, I, I move the slider and I stop clicking my mouse button when I actually release the slider. So, and it's super simple. On So on this uh, screen action, all I'm doing is I am assigning the, the discount I've selected, and the discount I've selected is an input parameter for this screen action, is this selected value uh, input parameter. So I simply assign this input parameter to a local parameter called selected discount because I use it on different parts of the screen, and I set the final price local parameter to a simple math of the selected product price uh, times 1 minus selected value divided by 100. So, you know, just apply simple math here. After I do that, I call a couple of Ajax refresh actions. Uh, the first one to refresh the discount percentage being shown on the screen. So, to refresh this value here, as you can see, when I select a new value, it is refreshed. And the second Ajax refresh refreshes the final price itself. It refreshes this value here. So of course, I could do all manners of, of operations here. If I recall correctly, Daryl asked about how would you uh, how would you update uh, an entry on one of your entities after uh, changing the slider. You could potentially do it here on the on change action. I do not recommend that because every time you change the slider, you would be doing a create or update action on an entity uh, that that you know that that doesn't seem very uh, very intuitive in terms of performance. What I would do is I would do exactly this and then add a save button here that would effectively save the changes on the entity itself. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Once again, thank you, Daryl. If you guys have any feedback on the video, any suggestions, anything that we can do to improve these videos, feel free to reach us like Daryl did, and we'll be glad uh, to hear you. Thank you so much, and see you on the next video.